Shout out to BioLite, uh, the IV in a bottle. When you drink one of these BioLites in 30 minutes or less, it is exactly like getting hydrated from a IV. It is also like drinking six sports drinks, uh, the electrolytes, and one of these equals six and a half sports drinks. If you are dehydrated and you need something to drink, go to BioLite. They have four different flavors, citrus, berry, tropical, and melon. They're all delicious. Make sure it's cold. It tastes nice and crisp on a hot day. Go to Amazon or drinkbiolite.com and use code REALTALK. That's code REALTALK for 10% off your first order. Again, go to Amazon or their website at drinkbiolite.com. What's up, fam? It's your boy, Rylan. We're back with Real Talk. Uh, it's beanie season. It's getting cold. Got to wear something for the boys. A little Georgia beanie. Also got the lettuce flowing out the back. It's mullet season. I'm trying to look my, like my boy, Carson. Speaking of Carson, we had the QBs on for this episode, including the Heisman finalist, Stetson Bennett, my boy, my freshman year roommate, an absolute stud uh, on and off the field. His journey is insane. So if you guys don't know his journey, tune into this episode. We get into what it's like being a quarterback in the SEC, how to handle uh, hard coaching. And then for our Real Talk, Tear Talk, we got personal and we did uh, a draft with your favorite running back, receiver, and tight end that you would have on your team if you were the quarterback. And two of our boys stayed home with some UGA tight ends. So tune in to see who those were and to learn a little bit more about all the QBs. Now that coach up in Athens got them boys playing pretty good ball. Anyway, I love you, son. Yeah, it's that stadium now, baby. Had a good game this year. Yeah, it's Carson City. You know, I wonder if Coach Bubba is going to know if you're in Jacksonville if you're not paying to. <laughs> like Fuster. Yeah, he definitely doesn't know that. That work is going to be forever lost. The weather down there was like the weather out here today. Absolutely. Oh, that's that's right. just Florida. That's Dude, terrible. it's been like this for like what? Dude, two weeks. weeks. Yeah, been, we were awful. talking about like, if it's going to be cold and rain, just snow. I go out, I like am half asleep going to practice when it's like this. It just makes me not want to do anything. That's why I always get like the little energy chews. I'm like, all right, that's I'm going to sleep. I pop them in. I'm I like, have enough right. caffeine to kill a horse at me half the time. All right, boys. So we're going to kick off tonight's show in a little bit of a different fashion. We're going to do, uh, with the passing of Coach Leach, we're going to do kind of like a, a segment of just telling stories that we've ever heard about him or you actually got to hang out with him a little bit after the game this year. Um, so I'll kick it off. My favorite Mike Leach story that I've heard that has come out a lot recently is the Lincoln Riley story. Y'all heard about that one? So he recruits Lincoln Riley to come be a walk-on quarterback at Texas Tech in 2002. Gets there on campus, sees him, sees him throw a couple of times and he's like – Calls him into his office. He's like, hey, buddy, listen, it ain't going to work out for you. He's like, but I want to I give you a, a student assistant job. And Lincoln Riley's like, hell no. Nah. Storms out of the office, comes back the next day, takes it, and then boom. Like that, Lincoln Riley is now one of the best wow. in the game. Yeah. When was that? 2002. How about that? It's pretty cool. Gunner wasn't even born. <laughs> <laughs> when were you born? Three? Three. That's crazy. That was nuts. When were you born? Nice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went three. I started college, you know. Too. Oh my gosh! When Man, two thousand two. It was two thousand one. That was two thousand one too. That was two thousand. Golly. <laughs> Y'all got any other stories? <laughs> uh, I saw one the other day where it talked about when he was in. Wasn't he? Was it? Yeah, Oklahoma. Okay. Well, beside the point, they were playing Texas, and he Texas grew up. Tech, on, he, they were playing. They were playing Texas, oh. is, and he drew up a fake script. Oh, that! And had like his first like fifteen calls on there, and they're all fake. Mm -hmm. And he ended up having one of his like, I think it was his backup <laughs> quarterback act like he was putting on like in his belt. Third string tight end. Third string tight end. Yep. It was just, mm -hmm. and he uh, put it through his belt and purposely dropped it on their sideline. And one of their GAs picked it up and took it to their coaching staff, and it got all the way around their coaching staff. Here the GA was. I just yeah. found this out. Tom Herman. Really? How about that? Wow. How about that? Right. And he, they didn't keep going. Yeah. So they, they basically game plan their first two drives off that script. He put 17 on them. <laughs> In the first three drives. <laughs> first three drives. Basically, he said that on the script, they, they flipped everything. So, like, for us, if it was inside zone right, they put it as, like, an outside zone left. Mm -hmm. um, and Tom Herman said, basically, when, they, when he picked it up, he was like, none of us thought it'd be a joke because that's so far-fetched that who, who would do that? And, of course, Mike Leach did it. I love his Twitter. 
That was yeah, awesome. All those memes. memes. Yeah, the memes. Which is cool. No, but um, I ran up. I ran up to him because my high school coach was uh, played under him at Badassa State, and so that was our offense. Was basically the air raid system and stuff. I'm pretty sure uh, my coach in high school made me re- read his book. I think it was like, what, Swing Your Sword? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, the Pirate, baby. Yeah, 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 Pirate. He was on Friday Night Lights. Oh, dude. The, uh, Such the a good scene. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, so, but I always thought he was the coolest guy in the world. Uh, he was so quirky. Um, and so I ran up after him. And then he talked to me for like 10 minutes, just about nothing. <laughs> yeah, about nothing. And, and I was like, oh, coach, like. You gotta go talk to your your team, and I I I gotta leave, man. I gotta get go a locker room. Uh, but yeah, no, it was it was awesome to meet him. Uh, he told me that Valdosta State, if you can't win there, you can't win anywhere. He said it's so easy to recruit, um, and uh, he told me I was a very nice player. And uh, good luck, good luck to me the rest of the way. <laughs> And then you got in trouble when you walked in the locker room. Oh, know? my God. Dude, Listen, that, so we're, yeah. we're, we're all, like, in a huddle, and Kirby's, like, giving his post-game speech, and then we just hear, like, this grabbing on the door, and we, like, they had to shut all the doors, and somebody on the staff, somebody let it open, and Kirby let them hear it. Close that effing door. Like, leave it shut. God damn it. <laughs> Kirby didn't know. And then Seton walked in, and he was like, all right. No, he, <laughs> he didn't see me. Like, he, he didn't see, see him, but like, it was like, like everybody saw like, Seton, and it was like, all right. But so – you got a drink. Cheers, Coach Leach. Here, come on. We're cheering. Oh, I have a drink. No, okay. Tate's got one. Oh, I, got, I got Coach Leach's team real quick. So one of my really good friends was a scout for the Browns. He was the West Coast scout. So he would always recruit and always go to the scout players. He was at Washington State. And he had an appointment to meet with Coach Leach. Mm-hmm. So he goes in, the secretary's like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, he doesn't really come in this early. Okay, I'll wait. So he's sitting there and he's like, there's a wall of windows. He's sitting there and 20 minutes goes by, 30 minutes goes by. In the distance, you can see this person like start to come closer and closer, and they're they're rollerblading. Okay, what? Just, like getting after rollerblading, and it was Coach Leach. Mm-hmm. And like he gets in, and he's like, "Were you you, <coughs> you rollerblade in here?" And he goes, "Oh yeah, every day, every day I rollerblade in." Like only Mike Leach would rollerblade to work. That's insane. So, like, he's the man. Here's another story, like kind of like that. So there was a student journalist who was at Washington State at the time, and it must have been before he started rollerblading <coughs> because. She had heard that he walked to off the office every day or a roller, you know, something of that kind. So she got his number and texted him and called him and was like, Hey, you know, can I get an interview? And I heard you walk to walk to work. What's the deal with that? And he was like, put on some running shoes, come walk with me. So she walked the entire way to work with him one day and said it was one of the coolest experiences ever. That's awesome. Yeah. Super dope. So brother gives me some stays a freshman and somehow I got his phone number and texted him, like, hey coach, we like an incoming freshman, like would love to meet you like grab lunch or something he's like hey man like uh really nice to hear from you unfortunately out of jackson mississippi for like a fundraising event so i can't make it uh but good luck and like i'll stay text them back that's <laughs> insane that's yeah. golly that's, awesome. that's dope well to the goats one of the best of all time all right boys we're going to transition to another segment that we do it's called our fist pump feature of the week so think about tiger woods the iconic fist pump that he gives after he sinks a putt Think about a moment this week that was fist pump worthy uh, that you just, you know, could be, what are some crazy ones? What are some ones we've had in the past? Uh, you found out your truck drives itself. That was pretty um, yeah. That would be nuts. It, it yeah. was kind of freaky. <laughs> yeah. So something that's super dope that happened this week. Uh, Stetson, we'll start with you because you had something pretty fun happen this week, this weekend. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, uh, <laughs> that was cool. Um just going up there and hanging out with all those dudes. And I don't know, seeing New York was awesome. Um, that was probably my favorite part of it. Um, and then meeting all the uh, all the past winners, you know, legends, um, shaking Johnny's hand up there on the stage. I was like, this is, this is cool. That's <laughs> sick. For me. And, uh, but yeah, it was overall, it was a really good experience. Um, they kept us super busy, so we didn't like get to go eat at any pizza spots. I wish we would have, um, or like see anything like super cool, like New York, you know, like New York's known for. Um, but other than that, it was it was a pretty sweet trip. Big Carson, give us something, give us something juicy. 
does a scene that I pass on my classes count as a fist bump moment? Hey, <laughs> come on, baby. <laughs> come on. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I, I came into the semester and I was like, <laughs> this is going to be tough. Yeah. <laughs> so looking, looking at all my grades for all the classes I had this semester, I was like, yeah. Yeah, no, nah, I, was, I was very excited about that. So that's big time. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. Tater? I'm trying to sign between two, but I think I'm going to go with a different one because Carson just said that. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to give it to you anyway, both of them. Um, the agriculture class, second time taking it, made a D. So we're done with it. <laughs> I made a double D's get the degrees, baby. Final. I made a D. But the second one is ordered uh, Annabella, pretty pricey Christmas present. And she not watches. She does. She knows. Well, the other night when I ordered it, she could like visibly tell like my mood change after I ordered it. <laughs> <laughs> so she was. She like look at me. She's like, "Are you okay?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm fine." Uh, uh, this is an investment. That's what it takes. So she know she doesn't know what it is. Yeah, she, she just knows that it's pricey. Yeah, when he's oh, you are getting her hopes up uh, too, probably. He's getting his hopes up is what he's doing. <laughs> I already know she's getting me, uh, but it's a package that you have to sign off on it when they deliver it. Okay. And I have been at the facility the past four days. They've tried to deliver it. So they called me today. And like, if you don't come get this tonight, we're sending it back. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> so I, right before I came here, I went and got it from the FedEx. Oh, I'll track so it. That was, it's probably why. Any hints on the uh, any spoilers for the gift? What, what we got? Oh, it's just good. release. We can always cut it. There you go. Always cut it. Was that? Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. He showed me it, and my pocket started hurting. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, my bad. That three grand helped me out a little bit. You can tease the shit out of her, and we can leave this whole part in and just like beat that. It's not even college. Beep over it. My wallet's crying in the car. <laughs> Clip it and send it to her. So like, <laughs> just send pricey well, she up. watches this she watches these shout out Annabelle it's like I hate hearing how my voice sounds like through a microphone and I'm sitting there she just starts watching I'm like turn it off turn, it off. <laughs> turn, yeah. turn this shit off yeah. she's like why don't you watch my set I do them like <laughs> I've already me. experienced it once <laughs> yeah alright big gunna give us something uh, probably I found out you can get a discount Lulu for uh, like being an athlete That's but, pretty uh, 25 did you did life. you apply to it Oh, I'm about to, yeah. So I, I've, I've heard they cut I've it kept, off for college athletes. Yeah, they keep cutting it. Like it won't. I can't. So we went to the B 30A last year during spring break. Me and Alexa and her family. Oh, we walk into a Lulu store, huh? I was there. Not with you, but I oh was yeah, there. but I remember like we were in the same area. I totally forgot about that. Yeah. Um, so we walk into a Lulu store, and the lady's like, because we were somehow talking about wearing it at practice or whatever something. I don't know. Whatever her brother was talking about. And she was like, "Oh, you guys collegiate athletes?" And all three were like, "Yeah." She was like, "Oh, I'll get you signed up for the sweat collective." And I was like. Sweet. So I thought I had it, and she just did a one-time thing. She didn't sign us up for it. So, <laughs> dude, but that discount's huge. It's awesome. I do love Lulu. No, this <laughs> this man loves Lulu. Is this the Lulu King? Like, Wouldn't you? Probably. See, I can only fit their bottoms. He can fit everything. So you should see this. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I went to Lulu two days ago, or yeah, two days ago, and. I how much money did you spend? I spent twelve hundred dollars. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, with that hurts me to hear. Uh, yeah, that's I don't even have that much. much. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you took all the Lulu in your closet and added it up, how much do you think it costs? Oh gosh, um, I probably have like fifty or sixty items of Lulu. Uh, oh, well, they were gonna say thousand dollars worth of clothes. I was like, holy cow! I mean, half of this group is Lulu so far. So I mean, I think the nil deal is it's coming. It has to be. Right? I, I mean, I really need it. Really, like I really appreciate it. Need it, bro. It would be, really appreciate it. it. Out of our 16 <laughs> episodes, they've been mentioned in probably 10 of them. Yeah, 100%. Just walk over to the little downtown and be like, listen, we got that. Yeah, we, we, we need a deal right now. Yeah. Bobby, did you get a haircut? Look at you, son. Well, That's, the worst. That's the worst. That's the worst. Big time. Big time. <laughs> yeah. Fist bump right feature for Mr. Bobby is graduation. It's big time. All right, big killer. Do us something. Junior. Uh, I'll probably just have to say I passed my class. Like, right oh no, 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 no. you're gonna lose it. Yep, go ahead, talk to the mic. Talk. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to think of the whole time y'all were talking. Speech, uh, speech. You were sitting there. It wasn't the duck hunting now. experience this morning, was it? No, that was, that was talk, talk us through the, the experience this morning. Uh, First of all, I wake up at like 
8 30 a.m to see a snapchat from him at like 5 15 probably i was like <laughs> yeah. dude you're a lunatic me and uh me and bowers went to we drove an hour and a half hour and a half south to get a duck hunt this morning and uh me and another dude austin we shot i shot once he shot once we killed two ducks and it was over in five minutes we and then we walked for like a mile in our waders mm. and me and me and bowers got in the truck and said we'll never do that again so that's like the opposite of a fish. What, Doug right? Hunter? Go with no, that guy. Go with that guy. Well, the guy, you said the guy pulled out. So they're like walking around. And the guy's like, all right, this is the last thing I know what to do here. Pulls out his phone and starts an electric duck call on his phone for the ducks what? to use. <laughs> and like you said, they're wood ducks, so you can't even call wood ducks. <laughs> that poor dude. They're, 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 he's, like, oh, he's, like, he's like, they're up here. They're up here in this big part. So we walk all the way to this big part. We we love the guy Austin Brown. We deer we deer hunt with him too. Any that. anytime you start walking to the spots that I've heard after about, a hunt, if uh, you walk, it doesn't matter what you're hunting. After a hunt, if you start walking, it's you're a, not gonna get it. But he's like, he's like, they're up here, man. They're up here. And so we walk up to him. He's like, you hear him? You hear him? <laughs> and Bowers is like, Bowers duck hunts a lot. Like I, I don't I don't duck hunt too much. And he was like, uh, so so what's our plan now? And Austin's like, you know, the only thing I know what to do is just. Uh, and he pulls up YouTube and it's like blaring this loud 15 second ad and, and Bowers looking at me. He's like, I would have I used, like, used a third <laughs> shotgun shell. <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> for him? Yeah, for him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right, my well, fish got two. <laughs> yeah. We did. We shot twice and killed two birds. And it was an hour and a half away. Yep. Oh, that sounds cool. like a great deal. What time did you leave? We pulled out at 420 of Athens. Yeah. Oh. It was, it was oh. all fun. <laughs> Mine's well, going to kind of counter that. So my fist bump feature of the week has been the last seven days. I don't think I've woke up earlier than 830 sleeping in. That's a lot of I haven't woken up earlier than 10. Yeah. I'm a well-rested person. Right now. I oh, I love it. I wake up. Season, dude. No, sir. No, my no. sleep schedule is so messed up right now. Yeah, mine, mine too. Especially playing COD. God, you're going to and like especially since shipments out now. Yeah. I've been getting like 10 hours a night. Dude, I wake up, go to practice, and it feels like it's like, Morning. Yeah, like 10 a.m. <laughs> I wake up, so I live in the basement of our place. So that's been down there before. And so I'm we just got a king bed that I got from you know like someone get married. And so I had I was sleeping on twin beds with a mattress topper. Why are you laughing? <laughs> yeah, what was that about? <laughs> married people sleep together. Sorry. I have a king bed and I'm not married. All right, well I was sleeping on two twin mattresses that had a mattress topper because I just borrowed from home. So I've got them leaned up against my window, so when I wake up, I you can't see a thing. It, it okay. could be 12 p.m. and it looks like 9 p.m. That's, a banger, that's dangerous. Yeah. Dude. That's I, dangerous. I, I, oh, my God. That's it's screwed. Dangerous. It's I unbelievable. Have, like, because literally, I had, yeah. what was this? Last Thursday, I think it was, I had a final at 8 a.m. And I accidentally set my alarms for mm. 7.30 p.m. Mm. And I did, obviously, I didn't know this at the time. So mm. I, I, I lean over. I, I go to sleep. I wake up and like I look in my window and I'm like, Okay, it's a little light outside, like whatever. And then I lean back over, and then I roll back over. I check my phone. I was like, "Oh shit!" Because <laughs> I knew, I knew oh. damn well that that light did not look like seven a.m. It looked a little bit later. It was like dude seven forty-five, and I was like, "Oh snap!" Like I got up, put my clothes on, drove to class so fast, ran in there, got there with like two minutes to spare. I got back from my exam the other day. I had an exam at eight a.m. Came home. And if I'm going to take a nap during the day, I put that sleep mask on or whatever. Usually my girlfriend's there. She was not there this time. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to take me a little nap and wake up like 11. I didn't wake up till 1245. I can't picture you wearing that sleep mask. <laughs> oh, I, I wear that sleep mask. Sleep mask to wake up. Sleep mask on the Don will just walk around the facility with like it on his I head. I always would get these to cover your eyes. Yeah. Oh, but, I thought you were talking about sleep apnea mask. I was like, hey, you oh, know, funny. No, but if I sleep with it at night, I wake up and it's like across the room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it comes off immediately. Talk about one of the worst feelings in the world is like being late, waking up, oh, knowing yeah. you're late. Oh, yeah. I'll never forget the first workout I was late to was this year. And it was the day that we had switched from like June to July. So it was like, instead of lifting Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we started lifting like Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. So I didn't have my alarm set for Tuesday. I just forgot. And I woke up at, uh, it was like 8.02 and I was lifting at eight and I looked at my phone and it was ringing. It was Sinclair on the phone. I was just like, decline. Let me get the truck and go. And it was one of the, oh, it's the worst feeling in the world, dude. So much anxiety. Oh, you guys. Yeah, you oh. Like the worst person. Yeah, everyone's listening to it too. At, oh. the, at the facility. Oh, man. And then you have to walk. Yeah, every <laughs> single person does. Yeah. Oh, my God. 
There's a oh, this is Cody. <laughs> well, you just you're in the, like say you're not the one that's late. You're there lifting, and you just look in the middle of the weight room, and Sinclair's on his phone, just screaming on his phone. You're like, oh, somebody's about to get it. And then they put on the eighty pound weight vest and have to carry yeah. forty fives up the stairs. That's crazy because like I always heard from the other side because like, I was in staff meeting, you know, like they would all have to do the reports, and Sinclair would be like, yeah, so and so and so was late. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's an all time. Oh man, that's so bad. Um, all right, so we're gonna go around and kind of talk about who you are, where you're from, and also hit on kind of like what your recruiting experience was like. So we'll go, Gunner, you first. Your full name, where you're from, um, how'd you end up here in Georgia? Fire and Flavor is a local Athens company that loves supporting the dogs. Founded by UGA alumni, Davis and Jenna Knox, this company is your go-to resource for all things grilling. They got dry rubs, barbecue pellets, charcoal, and the new and innovative Hero Portable Grill. Fire and Flavor gets it done. And find their products at fireandflavor.com or at your local Striplings, Publix, or Lowe's Home Improvement. Use their code TAILGATE, that's TAILGATE, for 25% off on their website. Again, their website is fireandflavor.com. Use the code TAILGATE for 25% off. I'm Gunnar Stockton. I'm from Britain County, Georgia. Um, I was committed to South Carolina before. Um, when Coach Must Jam and Coach Bob over there. Um, you go, keep going. You're good. No, we're just sound checking. Um, yeah. But whenever they got fired, it kind of got me away from I didn't really want to be there anymore. And uh, that's kind of a good thing. Coach Smart was always good to me, so I had something to lean back on. A little quick story. Me and Gunnar actually go – Kind of far back because yeah. my freshman year, so he's from Raven County where Charlie was from, Warner. And we went to Charlie's hometown to watch one of his buddies, brother Jeb Gibson, uh, play a little concert or whatever. And we went over to their house after and Charles, like, hey, this is, this is Gunner. He's going to be a really good quarterback one day. I was like, what's up, Gunner? Like, nice to meet you. Three years later, boom, here he is. I was like, good to see you, buddy. You don't want to go play Beamer Ball? Beamer Ball, baby. No, Beamer Ball. <laughs> so that's a. I feel like everybody's got that kind of like, like you just talked about who was the kid earlier that was committed or was going to go to Southern Miss and that was going to go to Colorado State yeah. and then now he's Small at Kent State. In high school. Just yeah, like you just Kent never State. know. Yeah, it's critic. I hate it. Mr. Jacksonville. Um, Carson Beck, Jacksonville, Florida. So originally I was going to play baseball. So I committed to Florida my freshman year for baseball. And then – my sophomore year, or after my sophomore year, is like the first time that I really played in high school. I didn't really play my freshman year for football. And um, that's when I started to get all the offers and stuff. So I decided that, or well, obviously it didn't end up happening this way, but I said that I was going to play both. So I ended up decommitting from Florida and then committed to Alabama for football and baseball. And then after my junior season uh, football, I just realized like my arm is like not going to be able to take both football and baseball. And obviously like I wanted to go early and you know, enroll in the spring and stuff. So I decided, you know, no more baseball. And then I decommitted from Alabama and then eventually was like, yep, I'm just going to go to Georgia and just play football. Only. So kind of crazy. Don't you regret that? Maybe. Two ways, baby. <laughs> Two ways, baby. Yeah, there was a, Couple of days where I remember us talking about baseball, and you're like, "Oh, I wish I could keep going with it." Yeah, I didn't. That was my probably my biggest regret. It's just easier on baseball. the body. Yeah, I mean, what was it? Yeah, mm-hmm. sure. Yeah, I'd pitch and then third, first, right, left. But I probably would have ended up pitching if I would have played. Somebody. So when he first got here, me and him had gotten COVID at the same time, so we were like doing a lot of the same doctor stuff and blood tests all at the same time, and <laughs> I can't remember where we were. But he was walking away, and I was like 10 feet behind him. And some dude grabbed me from the side and was like, yo, is that Carson Beck? I was like, yeah. <laughs> he was like, dude's going to be a dog. I was like, all right, bet. Turned out to be a dog. <laughs> I remember when that softball, that I can't remember. This had to, I think it was our oh, my freshman, freshman year. Yeah, freshman this year. softball pitcher comes in, <laughs> and he's like, we're taking BP uh, from yeah. her. I was not going to get K'd by a softball Car- pitcher. Carson about killed this girl. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, in the indoor he, with the cage he put down. one right back yeah. in. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. I totally forgot about and that. And then I think Ben Cleveland almost killed her too. Yeah. Ben Ben, <laughs> ben swung and missed like seven times. And then on the eighth one, just almost killed her. <laughs> <laughs> just finally connected with him. It was all. Oh, that's a different. Oh, Lord. Let's break that. All right. Bebo, we'll come back to that. 
Give us who you are away from recruiting. Uh, Brock Vandegrift from Bogart, Georgia. And uh, I was committed to Oklahoma for a couple months, maybe a year. And then I just, I kind of want to stay closer to home and just decommitted and committed to Georgia. Nice so, and simple. Yep. Simple. Heck yeah, I like it. All right, Big Stat. You got a little bit of a longer story. So go ahead and hit on who you are, where you're from, how you got here. Uh. Yeah, no, I mean, I was always, I always tried to, um, I was going to camps all freaking junior, senior year. Nothing ever happened um, except for, you know, a few mid-majors and then some FCS schools. Um, now they like me a lot. That's <laughs> uh, <laughs> <see> why. <laughs> but... I just never, you know, I could kind of, I could kind of see, I was like, well, if I go to these mid majors, like there's a, there's a limit to what can be accomplished. Um, I mean, just there is. And so I think I'd rather almost go to an FCS school um, because there you can, you know, win a championship. And so it was basically, I thought about going to Sanford uh, cause Loved Hatcher. That was the offense that we were running in um, in high school. And I just thought that we were going to, you know, set every record there was. But I was just – I kept thinking. I was like, well, I need I need to go one year. I need to walk on to Georgia one year. Because then I can see if I can hang with the big dogs. If I can't, then I'll go play at FCS school. But I need to at least try. And so I went up there and um, – Started feeling like I could, even though now looking back at the film, I could not. I was wrong. I was lying to myself the whole time. Weren't we all, though? Our freshman year, man, like, uh, oh, man. They, yeah. My freshman year made me question, like, if I should still be playing football. <laughs> Golly, dude. <laughs> but I always I always did. I was always tinkering with my motion, like, always, like, working on blah, blah. And every, I, I'm sure these guys, like, know what I'm about to say like as soon as you feel it like you feel it one day and you're like oh that that's it and then you can just do it and you're like <laughs> so and like that just kept building up and I went to Juco um and was gonna go to Louisiana Lafayette but then Kirby I woke up and signing day wasn't a big deal to me because I knew I was going so I woke up a little bit late was just gonna sign it um faxed over and I woke up with like four missed phone calls from Coach Smart and um, Chaney back when he was here. And I was like, oh, what's going on? And I uh, called him back and talked to him. And they're like, we're going to need an answer now. And I was like, well, you ain't going to get an answer like now. I got to think about this. You know, this is my decision. I don't, you can hold on to it if you Hell want. Hell yes, that a boy. Um, but I did, I did call him back like three hours later because I was like, you know, <laughs> I do kind of want to go. <laughs> and so I uh, call him back, tell him, and then came back. And then a little side story. So when he came back, we were in the same class when he came back. So we were in a bunch of like the ranking meetings and stuff together. And then we ended up room, like, rooming together in ECV. And his dad, dude, your dad's awesome. His dad texted me. We had just gotten out of a introductory ranking meeting or whatever. And your dad texted me. He was like, hey, this is and dad. Like, let me know if you ever need anything. I'm here for you. And I thought that was pretty cool for yeah. your dad to do that. Yeah. Your dad's, dad's really cool. Man. Yeah. Dad's man. He was my coach uh, growing up. And uh, him and mom always did, always did a damn good job. How often did y'all butt heads? Oh, all the time. Oh, my dad coach. Oh, my God. I hated him. Me and, my, so much he hated me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> me and my dad, I think, did a pretty good job of keeping a father and coach relationship completely separate. Yeah. But my junior year, I got two personals one game. We didn't talk to each other for two weeks. We lived Oof. in the same house. Oof. I'll never forget. Go ahead. You're going to finish that story. He'd come up there, wake me up for school. Like, wake your ass up, walk out. <laughs> that was it all day? All day. That's awesome. We go to practice, not a word. <laughs> I'll never forget my dad. So my dad was our middle school head coach. And so I played like a little bit of quarterback and then I played receiver too. And I was just, you know, six foot one in like eighth grade. So I was just a mountain taller than everybody, but I was like 160 pounds. So just a twig came down to the last play of the game for one of our 
last games of the season and we were down by like four. We get to like the 10 yard line and I had had a really good game. And I was like, oh, I'm, I'm getting, this is it. Like it's man, like I'm getting the ball, throw a fade right here. And he calls like a naked away for me to end the game, last play of the game. And we ended up not scoring. Didn't talk to him the rest of the freaking week. I was, I was heated, bro. Did you ever have any like that, bro? Uh, I, I'd say our relationship was like pretty balanced. Like just being at, like on the field was like a different like person than being at home. Just, I mean, my dad was good about it. He knew when to cut it off and cut it on. So, I mean, yeah, we'd butt heads. I'd be running around the field some practices, but it wasn't. Yeah. Wasn't nothing major like that. I think though, like you also. Dad sent me running a couple times. Yeah. Oof, man. <laughs> it, it, it pissed him off. Take off. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> run, run, I tell you to stop. I don't think people can understand it though that haven't experienced it. Like it definitely deepens your relationship with them, with oh, each yeah, other, 100%. and creates something to bond over, which is I've always loved. We'd always me and my dad Thursdays after practices because Thursday was our last practice of the week, or whatever. We had a QT on the way home, and we'd always stop and get QT slushies on the way home. Every Thursday after practice is awesome. Oh, my last game of high school, I bawled my eyes out. Not because we lost. It was my last high school game. It was my last game in coach. Like, it was just. Uh, yeah. yeah. It was different, but. I think that was probably the same. Because I knew I wasn't going to. That wasn't my last football game. Like, yeah. after high school, I'm sure all y'all the same yeah. way. Like, I was, like, upset because I was like, I'm never going to play with these dudes again. Yeah. yeah. That, was, that was the toughest. I mean, hell, I cried, like. Especially baseball, like after my sophomore and well, not really junior year, but yeah, probably every year because I was like, I've never played with these seniors. This sucks. Mm-hmm. It's awful. Yeah, it Going back to high school, it could even be in college. What's kind of y'all's like that one play you think of in high school that like, boom, like yeah, that was me. Like, or like in it could be in college too, like where it clicked and it was like, yo, that's this is it. I mean, y'all I got take one. go ahead and hit it off. Back in when I was playing the defense on defense. Um, other team was running a read option, and they had a quarterback that could go. I mean, and our defense coordinator literally said, he said, anytime he carries out a fake, hit him. Make him not want to run the ball. He killed this guy. Oh, yeah, he killed this guy. <laughs> How big um, was he? Tiny? Yeah. He was, I mean, he wasn't tiny, but he wasn't huge. So they ran a read option. I genuinely thought he had the ball because he took four steps towards the line, and he was reading me. So he stepped down. I hit him, knocked his helmet off, and went flying. Kid ended up having a seizure on the sideline, but oh my gosh, Tate. He got up Goodness. and walked to our he got up and walked to our sideline. He didn't know where he was. That's a bad deal. Dang, like, Tate. Our announcers on the live stream like, the ball, the ball's out, the ball's out. Like, it's, it's just the kid's helmet. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. You see the video. Yeah, yeah, you show me. There's a video of it. Yeah, yeah, oh my video. gosh. It's, it's, I kind of want to see this. Pull, this video. pull this thing up. Yeah, this is gonna be sliding up on the screen for sure. <laughs> Anybody else got one on the top of their head while we're pulling this video up? Here it is. Oh, this is video. Oh, yeah. I used to hit nukes too. Really? Oh, yeah. Electric. Yeah. Oh, let me find it. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
like just big and like stiff armor and like running over people, like I probably would have been like, okay, all right, well, these guys just can't play with me. But I always <laughs> just felt like I just barely made somebody miss and like ran around them and threw the ball and whatever. But I don't know. The day you lower your shoulder and run somebody over, I will get a personal. Well, he says, he says like, he says like, I barely make a miss. Well, I mean, they're on the South Carolina clip. They ain't barely making a miss, but <laughs> the dude was on his face. <laughs> All right, so I got a question. So, like, I'm a golfer. There's days that you just like you black out, and so like, you have bad day. It's just, everything's going right. So, you had a couple runs this season where you juke a couple guys out of your, out of their shoes. Mm -hmm. It's like looking back. Like, do you think? All right, I put a good move on. And then looking back, did you watch them? Like, shit, that was a that was no a good the Mississippi one. State one. The Mississippi State one. I was like, first I overreacted, did that one move too early. Um, but then I realized that I was like, oh, like this dude, like I hadn't made him miss yet. And so, and then I just did that. Like, I don't know. I did, I wasn't thinking about it or whatever. I just, it's like, oh, and then went, but yeah, I didn't even know he like, people were coming up and like high five me. I felt like I had to like get off of him and then just outran him. I had no clue. <laughs> All of us in the silent were like, oh my God, I was, I was laying on the ground and everybody was like looking over there. I'm like, what's going on? Cause I was like. I didn't think you were going to keep it. I thought you were going to yeah. hand it. I'm like laying on the ground, like looking like this. I'm like, oh shit. One <laughs> <laughs> person was running by me. He was like, that's a bad white man right there, bro. That's a bad white man. I was like, yes, sir. Every oh. time I think you've done it or made a move like that on somebody, I think I've been on the ground looking at you because I'm usually cutting yeah. somebody. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit. There you go. Every goes. time I've this football season, I'm immediately like on Twitter, like just watching the crowd's reaction, like, holy shit. <laughs> Yeah, I usually look at it, see it happen, and go back to the defense lineman and talk shit to him and then get up and go celebrate. <laughs> well, dude, you're so much like quicker and faster than people give you credit for. It's like, what's what's a ballpark where we're going to see in the 40 here in a couple months? Uh, I don't know. I'm not, I haven't ran a 40 in a long time, but I think I, I hope it'll be pretty quick. Fives? I, uh, Speaking of fives? We'll see. Yeah. I don't know how. Uh, you heard it here first, folks. Sneaking the fives. <laughs> yeah, it'll be. I don't know. I hope it'll, oh, wow. Hopefully, hopefully. People will be like, oh, I didn't know that. If you come in there with a fade, you're going to be running faster than you've ever been. So that blowing up was actually one of the funniest things ever. What? Yeah. Carson needs to fade him up. Heck yeah. I know. I'm trying to look like Carson right now, trying to get the. Uh, Speed was Tell me that story about me trying to get a barber. Oh, gosh. You idiot. <laughs> Wait, which, which one did you send him to? The one wherever the dude just never showed up. Oh, yeah. So, um, my barber, Jamal. Yeah, Jamal. Jamal? Yeah, so. Jamal. I was like, I was texting with them. I was like, yo, can I come Great in and get it? <laughs> I was like, yo, like, can I come in and get a cut? And blah, blah, blah. And then Stetson, uh, I guess we had like talked about it or whatever. I was like, yo, can you cut me instead? Like, yada, yada, yada. He's like, yeah, bro. Like, I got you guys like Thursday night or whatever it was. I, I think it was a Thursday night. I was like, okay, like, we'll come after practice. He's like, bet. So we get out of practice. You know, Y'all talked about this Wednesday because we we're coming after Thursday's practice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, I, I was like, he's like, Betsy tomorrow. And I'm driving there. I call him. He doesn't answer. So I'm like, oh, maybe he's like cutting someone else's hair or whatever. I get there. I'm sitting there. I text him. I'm like, yo, like, I'm here. Like, are you here? No answer. No response. I'm oh, like, no. oh, shit. Like, <laughs> what's, what's going on? So I call Stetson. I'm like, yo, he's not answering. Like, I'm going to wait like 15, 20 minutes. Like, if he's not, like, if he's not here, like, I, like we, we can't get a haircut, I guess. <laughs> so I'm sitting here. I'm like, I need to cut bad. Like, I haven't gotten a haircut in like a month. Like, I, we got a game. Like, we got a dog walk. Like, I'm trying to look good. You know what I'm saying? So, Fresh so clean. He, he never answers, never responds. Texts me at like 6.30 the next morning. Like, oh, bro, like, I'm sorry. Like, I was like handling some business or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, right. Like, I know exactly what your ass was doing. Uh -huh. <laughs> get out of here. But that's yeah, funny. Once just, Stetson didn't get haircut. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> we should tell him another one. Uh, the, the Clippers going oh, halfway yeah. through. I'll oh, just tell that one too. <laughs> so, um, oh, man, this guy, you sure you want to keep going to this bar? <laughs> no, this was well, This is me. Oh. So, um, so I cut hair and um, Stetson needed a haircut. So I was like, yo, I'll cut your hair. Blah, blah, blah. And so we had, I'd just gotten back from um, uh, Jacksonville from our bye week and I had cut one of my friend's hairs and what I didn't know is, is that I had left my charger in Jacksonville for my mm. Clippers. So I'm, I'm sitting there cutting this hair. I'm like, ooh, like this is like turning out good. You know, like I'm actually doing a good job. This is the first time I ever cut this hair. I'm like, I'm <laughs> <laughs> so, um, 
And like halfway through, I finished like half his head. Like I'm like done with like half of it. And my clipper shut off. And I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, I'm, <laughs> I'm like, like, I'm like, I'm like, like full, just like <laughs> shaved. Oh this so right like, here. <laughs> it's like halfway. I can't go in public. Is what I'm <laughs> yeah. It's like halfway. And was it? It was on a Friday, yeah. Like we had, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 it was on a Friday. Yeah, yeah. So like we're about to like go into like our team meetings and stuff and. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh gosh. So like I go into my bag like to grab my charger. I didn't know I didn't have it. And it's not there. I'm like, oh shit. Like so I'm like, yo, like I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go drive to my house real quick. It's probably like at my house. I'm flying. Cause like we got And I'm trying to avoid people. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you walk into the locker room. I'm like, I'm like, 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 like yo, yeah, I'm like, like, yeah, man, have a good day last night. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah, bro, just like put your hat on, like, hold on, I'll be back, right? So um Nah, so I go to grab the charger. I'm looking everywhere in my room. I can't find it. I still don't even know that it's like in Jacksonville. Like I have no clue. I'm like, yeah. I call Stetson. I'm like, dude, like look at my locker or something. Like it's got to be somewhere. Like I'm like, there's no way I don't have it. I well, moral story is I don't have it. So I go fly to Walmart and go buy a, like another pair of clippers like that has like a similar charger. And like the charger's like barely working on the clippers that I have. Once I finally get back to like finish cutting his hair. So then later that night, I get it to where it like looks manageable enough for like people to like see it. Like obviously like not my best product, but so he gets what, the, who someone went and bought another pair of clippers and I had to finish the haircut. Yeah, my mom. Yeah. So yeah, his mom ended up going and buying another pair of clippers. Yeah. Shout out Denise. <laughs> he wrote. So that I could be like totally like finish the haircut like that night in our hotel room. It was a long day. Oh, dude, that's insane. I was, day for you. I was like half shaved for half the day. <laughs> I, I was eating a pregame meal, like worried about it. I was like, I swear, we'll get it fixed. <laughs> I'll never forget, we were playing, uh, it might have been Florida last year. I can't remember what it was. I'm rooming with Brett and I'm laying in bed. I got headphones on. I take my headphones off because he went in the bathroom and all you hear is bzz, bzz. Like, what is going on? And I walk in the bathroom, turn the corner, and Ryan Williams is cutting Brett's hair. Brett's like butt-ass naked except his boxers in the shower, just sitting in the shower. And I was like, dude, what the hell is going on? Where? At, at y'all's house? No, like, we were on the road, and it was in the hotel room in the bathroom. Oh, Ryan can cut hair? Oh, yeah. yeah. He did it every single weekend after that for Brett. Oh, dude, what? I'm going to get Ryan to cut my hair. Yeah. Yeah, I just walk into Carson's room saying, hey, you're cutting my hair. So he's like. Okay. And then we just go down the living room and cut some hair. Speed yeah. cut. Go ahead. No. When no. I lived with Blasky. Oh, God. I, Bean. He came knocking on my door one day. <laughs> Head just buzzed. He did it by himself. He says, uh, can you can you touch up the back of my head? <laughs> <laughs> it's harder he, than you think. He turns around <laughs> and he just has like <laughs> splotches of just hair. It was <laughs> awful. I was like, Blasky, uh, never do this man. again. <laughs> Speaking of haircuts, all over can we talk about the, the trend that the, the tight end set for the fall camp and future fall camps with the buzz cuts? Oh, uh, yeah. Come on. Good on. I will never buzz my Never hair. let Brock buzz his hair again. No, yeah, dude, he won't ever. <laughs> what I didn't realize was like my hair looked a lot like Brock's when I buzzed it and it was just not good. <laughs> I, I, tried to, I literally tried to tell him, do not buzz your hair. It is going to. He's for the boys, though. Oh. He was. He was did I, you try to? I don't think he's got a haircut. Dude, no, it's so, it's so thick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you were right. He's sitting in the locker right next to me and I'm like, Brock. Don't do it. Like, don't shave your head. He's like, man, I don't know, dude. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm like, don't do it. He's like, I'm gonna do it. Like, Rocky is for the boys. I'll give him that. <laughs> that he was. should not have done it. No. Did sure. y'all's parents ever cut y'all's hair? Oh, dude, my dad every just take me on the back porch. Take your shirt off. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I didn't get it. I, my dad was the first one that cut the my mullet. Really? Really? Yeah. Right before I came. He put the wrong guard on and just buzzed the top. I was like, "Bad, like this is bad." He's like, "Oh, I, I couldn't see it." I'm like, "Oh my god!" And I'm, I'm talking like the top of my head and the side of my head are the same length, yeah. and then there's just the back. I'm like, "Oh my god, that's awesome!" My mom did mine once, and the guard like wasn't secured; it fell off. Oh. Uh, and like I had a, like a no. fucking line, and I had to go to school like that for like until like through again, yeah. and that was probably the worst week. I'll never forget. So, you know, playoff baseball in high school, you always do like something crazy with your hair. Huh? Go bleach it. So we're all doing blonde tips, like everybody. So I go to my mom's lady. I've never been to her in my time. Huh? (laughs) 
blonde <laughs> tips, green tips. Like we were all doing just crazy pink tips. One guy did like the, just the three lines, the three stripes. Oh, dude, three lines. Yeah. Guys like we're doing shapes in the back of their hair, like all kinds of stuff. Yeah. So I'm like, well, I told this, I told my mom, I was like, hey, I want to do a mohawk with like blonde tips on the, all the way down up in front of the back. Kind of like yours, like not highlights, but like yeah. you can kind of tell it's like blonde. Bro, I like, I she put some stuff on it. I'm like that. Takes it off. What? What you? What you laughing at? No, I was, no it was just garden. No. Tab I'm like on my phone. She put some stuff in it. Takes it off. Bleached the entire thing blonde. It was like a blonde oh, broom. Oh, I was like, that's probably looked, I mean, probably looked, dumb. looked pretty sick. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but I was like, oh my god, this is not what I was going for. Well, I've been saying before. Any I, of that? Oh yeah, you want one? Before yeah. I before I cut my hair, I'm bleaching it. The whole thing. Got to. Got to. You need to try to avoid bleach, bleaching these and just go full American. Just, just bleach the long parts. So do it for if we win this next game. Do it for the. <laughs> no, don't <laughs> do that. Maybe don't do that. I'll do it next. Every smart would cheat. I'll do it next. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see if we can find something here. Going back to the rollerblade story, while you're looking for this video, if I call oh, Coach Smart on Oh Lord have mercy. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's <laughs> Coach Smart. What are you doing? God have mercy. Oh, yeah, that's blonde, blonde. <coughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Shout out, shout out to... It's like mine go up in value. Shout out to Vandy right here. I got new tires in the old baby about two weeks ago. No one, I, no one saw... I guess no one saw him. He comes to the locker room. Hey, boy, did you get some new, uh, some new rims on there? Some new wheels? I was like, you're dang right, baby. I appreciate <laughs> you. All right, so... Uh, Tell you, you brought up a great point during the break about your nice little personal foul in the SEC Championship. Let's talk about uh, on Major Burns. To be oh, exact. Man. Let's talk about – well, we got told on the sideline to cover down and play hard, which is, that's what I was doing. Um, I swear by everything I love that I thought he was near the pile. I mean, he would have been I am aware of that now. So I, I hit him, whatever, in the back. Uh, you I get a personal. Him. Yeah, I mean, I'm like, you, I get taken out and – Kirby is ripping me a new one on mm. the sideline. And Coach Shore was like, what were you doing? I was like, I thought he was on the pile. And I'm like, looking up. Let's see the rip. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> he was a good two and a half yards away from the pile. <laughs> and and I'm like just standing there. I know I'm done for the, the game. Take my helmet off, whatever. Just standing there. And Kirby just is letting me have it. They score again, whatever. Thank you, Tate. Thank you, Tate. I'm like, everything in me not to say something back. I'm like, my bad. Tate, was it worth it? Was it worth it, Tate? And we get in the locker room. He's like, uh, we had 275 on the ground. Could have been, could have been 300 if it wasn't for Tate Ratledge. I'm like, oh. <laughs> and then after the game, he asked me about on the bus. He's like, who did you hit? And I was like, Major. He just starts laughing. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah. Are you yeah. serious? Yeah. That's he's, awesome. Yeah, he was pretty pumped with the SEC championship. Yeah, and then we're getting work. We're, we're doing OVs this past weekend, and we're doing the player panel or whatever. And he's like, Walking down to the locker room to take pictures on the crew, saying, "Hey Tate, don't tell them what happens when you get a personal foul at the end of the game." The best part was like, because I was right behind him when it happened. It happened. You came off the field, and you were just like chewing your mouthpiece, just like looking at him in the corner of your eye, and he was just like just grabbing his thing, barking at you. Fourth down comes up. Send the <laughs> team out there. Everybody tell Tate thanks, thanks Tate. <laughs> it just seems awesome. <laughs> Coach Searles came up to me, and said, "I kind of liked him." <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was awesome. They fired us up on the sideline. Yeah, so he was. The, I think he was the only one on our team uh, on our sideline that was mad. Yeah, everybody else was like naffing me up, and I was like, "Like, calm down! Like, I'm pissed off." And then we went, and I'm like, still pissed off that I ain't gonna go back in. Yeah. And oh wow, yeah. And then he and Kirby's like, we're walking to the station. Take get your ass up here. I'm like, I don't oh, want to go up there. My Speaking dad of- called me, and I went to bat there. He's like, "What was Tate thinking?" And I'm like. You know, from that angle, maybe take off the play was still going on. Maybe the ball was out. Like, I don't think I was going hard to play. Like, you couldn't quite tell. I was just playing hard to give an effort for the other game. 10 guys around That's me. Right. That's right. <laughs> so here's a question for the QB position. Like, something like that happens in a game or let it be earlier or just a crazy penalty. Something happens where, like, you know, Brock, let's say Brock on that face mask call, just a dumb, just a dumb call. How do you guys handle that and, like, control everybody to kind of just bring it back down to, to ground zero? Uh, me, anybody like any of y'all like as, as a quarterback on the up. field? Like, <laughs> do you actually in the huddle? He's done it quite a few times. <laughs> yeah, you can't be talking in there, man. Can't be talking. We're all talking. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, right here, right here. <laughs> <laughs> That's all in the huddle. <laughs> but uh, the worst is Delp. Delp gets in the huddle and just man, the worst is just Delp in general. 
<laughs> no, but I, I just like what is for for Brock's example for for, for uh, that example. Um, I don't know. Like you just see it and you see it happen. And you're like, but you're like, ah, well, I mean, it is what it is now. Like nothing, nothing else is going to change it. Like I know Brock didn't mean to do that. I know he's trying to like his best to like break the tackle and go score. And, like things happen. And like the thing with Tate, I was like, damn, you know, wish he wouldn't have done that. But like, I, like he was given effort, like, or he was given major way deserved. I don't know. What he was doing, <laughs> right? But but like I'm like, well, regardless, we got to freaking. We gotta do it now, so no point in thinking about it now. But I think I think overall everybody like we all do a good job of just saying, all right, next play. It doesn't matter, good or bad, about this play, like next play is all that matters. And I think we do a good job of that. I would agree. And kind of transitioning from that, how do you handle like as a quarterback, because obviously you're the face of the offense, so if something goes wrong, if they're a pick, fumble, whatever, like it's gonna be on you. How do you handle Kirby? Just this is for all y'all. I mean, just chirping and ripping you a new one. And then having the confidence to come back and be able to like just sling it. Like Carson after this one. Um, <laughs> yeah, do we want a uh, recorded answer or do we want the real answer? Um, I'll give the recorded answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll go back to them. Um, shoot, the Georgia Tech game, I'm sitting there so sick. And I literally woke up that morning with 102 temperature, had the flu. I was, I, I woke up, told Stetson, I was like, dude, I'm, I'm, fucking, I'm, dying. I'm sick, man. Like, I don't feel good. Like, I'm going to go to the doctor. I was like, I'll stay away from you. Like, I'm going to get the hell out of here. I don't want you to get sick. So I'm, I got a damn IV, like everything before the game. And then the fourth quarter comes around. We're blowing them out. Uh, Kirby's like, Carson, we're going to put you in. I'm sitting there oh, like, shit. oh my gosh. Like, I can't even think straight. Like, my, I got so much medicine in my system. Like, I'm like, I guess I'm going to go in. Like, my body is literally hurting so bad. Like, I'm literally sitting there sweating on the sidelines, like, shivering. For example, like, when he, like, would say, like, cadence, whatever, he was like, ready. <laughs> I, mean, I, had, I had no voice, no nothing. I'm sitting in the huddle, like, trying to say the play. I can't even say the play. I'm like, sorry, guys. Like, go, like, telephone a friend. Like, everyone has to, everyone has to play. So, um, and I, I fumbled. And um, I was, <laughs> you, you can see it on the TV copy. I literally, as as I'm running, and the ball just linebacker hits me, like uh, the ball comes out. I'm like, no, like come back. <laughs> you just and then I lay there, I put my hands on my head. I was like, ah, oh, whatever. And like, I, like it, there, I think there's like a point, like when you mess up, that it's like you just realize that like no, but like you're not perfect, and like you're not gonna be perfect on the football field. And you just have to like understand that things are gonna go wrong, and it's more about like how you react to them than. You know, the yeah. actual like a moment itself, but like going back to like Kirby, like ripping you, like I'm running out the sidelines. He's like, "Why'd you fumble? Like, why'd you fumble? Like, just hold on to the ball." I'm like, coach, I didn't mean to fumble. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, damn. Yeah. Then, of course, I go up to it. I'm like, "Oh well, no, what we're doing that. I work in ball security. Goes to the house and he's pissed off." <laughs> I was, dude. So I was so lit because I was. I don't have a catch in my career, so I'm like, "This is this is it. Georgia Tech's the game. Like, this is gonna happen." Get out there, we're driving, we call a pass play where like me or Delp can go out, ended up being Delp just because of the front, whatever. So I'm like, all right, well, it's coming, it's coming, whatever. I'm blocking for him on the read. And, like I have my guy locked in and I just I just see the ball just trickle out of my eye. And like I, I couldn't get to it. I just like slowly saw the chance, just go away. Cause that was like the last <laughs> possession of the game, really. Yeah. yeah. So I like died for it and I couldn't get to it. And I was like, and he looked at me, he was like, I'm sorry, bro. And I was like, yeah, it's all right. Who chirps at you more, Kirby or me? At practice? Tate. Tate mid play. <laughs> oh, I give him. What's, what's yeah, the snap on? Give me a lot of shit. Oh, but he'll throw a bad ball. My question that was fucking elite. <laughs> <laughs> I always tell him. I always tell him. I'm like, if I do something good, like tell me I suck. Like I need, like you got to keep me like like down a little bit. And then when I do, like when I like suck, like I need you to tell me that I'm like the best player ever. Like do it like totally opposite. Because like when I like if I throw like a really shitty ball in practice, like Tate will come up to me and he'll be like. Yeah, that was elite, Carson. That was really, really good. And I'm like, like I want to swing on him sometimes. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, that's funny for sure. What's it like? So, you know, you get all the, the brunt of, you know, Coach Smart or Munkin or whatever when things go wrong. But, like, off the field for you guys, being the face of the offense, you also get recognition too. So, like, how do you guys handle being in front of a camera? So, for you, like – He's not the mailman anymore. He's the milkman. Like, how do you like? And you're really good at being in front of a camera. How do you handle like that attention? And how do you get good at doing that? Because a lot of guys come to college and aren't good at it. 
Well, nobody's good at coming out of college. You feel so awkward. Like the first time you're on camera, I still felt awkward on camera, um, you know, but usually if it's a, like a Q and A, I don't know. I just, usually I know what the questions are going to be about. And like, I have, I've had so much history, like with interviews, like I know pretty much what answer to go. Um, but for like that middle ground, like the first you, you're like nervous and you're like, I don't want to say anything. So you don't say anything because you don't want to screw anything up. But then like, I don't know. I just, I also don't like hearing myself on a mic. So I don't listen to anything I do. Um, but I, um, was I, was I going with that? Oh, I just like trust myself in the moment that I'm not going to say anything bad. Like, and then I just like forget about the interview or whatever. How does it go for like, when you came out with that Milkman commercial, is there like a script you follow and you just kind of hit it a few times? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was, um, the director on that one was, was, was awesome. But yeah, no, they had lines. Um, and I just, just memorized them and kind of tried to think what they were trying to accomplish with the scene um, or like what story they were saying in the scene. And then I'd like try to say the lines that way. That's kind of how I tried to do it. I remember, so, I'd come over to the house, the bounce, they call their house the bounce for you guys that don't know. It's, it was him, Brett, Fitz, Owen. Yeah. Electric house. Oh, dude, one <laughs> of the best, oh, the best place. And I'd come over there, we'd sit down and we'd like turn on each other's interviews and just make fun of it, like just call shit out yeah, all dude, the time. Yeah, dude, I would leave. I would dude, leave the best, the best one is like him after, man, one of the COVID games, cause you had the, the gray thing on and someone asks you a question and you just like, you go to itch your eye and it's just like this oh, yeah, the whole yeah, time. Yeah, which was like, like oh, it's awesome. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're going to go to our last segment of the night. We do tier talk. So it's real talk, tier talk. You get three options. So you rank them one, two, and three, but we're going to put a little twist on it tonight. We're going to do like you're building your own, like you're the GM and you're building your own football team. So we're going to go around in the snake draft. You get one wide receiver. You guys are the QB, so you don't need a QB. You get one receiver of all time. Could be Calvin Johnson, could be AJ Green from Georgia. Like, and it could be a during a certain period of their time. So you get one receiver, one running back, one tight end. Is he college guys or NFL? It could be we anything. Can't, we can't pick the same person. Can't. Once they're off the board, it's off the board. Snake draft. I don't know. Yeah, so we'll, football players. we'll start with Gunner. We'll come around here. We'll start with the running back position. Running back. Gonna go. Brother Reggie Bush. When he was at Great answers. Oh, Talk about a guy that would have capitalized off an IL. My God. We did. I mean, okay. <laughs> Indirectly. Oh, man. Tate. Hmm. I'm going to here. I don't watch sports. I just play it. You don't know a running back? A oh, running back. Yeah, yeah I mean, come, come on. on. Good one. No, come on. Um, you don't watch sports. This yeah, is bad. I this is your worst performance sports. yet. Yeah, I don't want. You've had some pretty bad performances. Oh, we're not talking about. We're talking about you. Well, so we can always come at that time. So, um, do, 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 give me Alvin Kamara. Alvin Kamara. All the time. That's, that's I don't know. You're talking about your books, brother. That's a bad answer. <laughs> I was trying to. Think. How many of us are there? Six. Well, you're the sixth seed. I'll take so. Ladainian Tomlinson. Okay, that's, good. that's a pretty <laughs> good answer. All purpose back. That's what I, was I love a receiving back. Are we going running backs first? Yeah, running yes. backs first. Yes, running backs first. <laughs> I, I like that. Yeah. Me? It's better be an unbelievable. I'm the, I'm the QB of any team. You're the guy. Who you want right next to you or behind you? Uh, that sounds bad. I think <laughs> I, I think I want um, Barry Sanders. Oh, See, that, that was mine. That was my other. Pick. God, that was mine. Yeah, that was my other pick. Um, that guy's pretty good at football. Give me uh <laughs> Now that y'all are firing off names, now stuff's coming to mind. No, 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 no. You got to have them tomorrow. Right now. <laughs> I'm going to go bow time. Give it's me Bo, Jack, Bo Jackson. Oh, yeah. 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 Bo's good. Uh, I'm going to go with Adrian Peterson. That's a good one. Yeah, that that one. Hey. Five really good answer. One, just super average. <laughs> I think mean, y'all might be one of them. Emmett Smith. Emmett Smith is a good one. Yeah. He's a good player. Emma Smith was a good one. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. That's what I, I was going to say. I was like, nah, we get shit on no, I, wanted, I wanted a back who, 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 who was a receiving back. Yeah. So, That's big All right. Give us your uh, – we'll, we'll save the best for last, which is the tight end spot. We'll go receiver next. Uh, I got my picks so nobody say it. 
I'm just I'm just gonna say Julio in his prime with the Falcons. Just a big Julio guy. I'm glad I'm going second. That, dude, that was he was tough to beat. Yeah, he was. I mean, he's tough to beat. Dude. Big old boy. I'm glad I'm going second because I really want this one. Give me Randy Moss. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Bang. Oh goodness, this one's actually hard. There's so many. There's so many. I don't think you can they go do wrong. different things. I don't think you can go wrong. Yeah, they'll do different that. things. Yeah. There's one that if it doesn't get taken off the board, I'll be really, really sad. Yeah. I've got one. Nobody says it. I hope somebody says it. <laughs> he doesn't say mine, then I'm gonna. I, got I don't it. know who I want. Yeah, I'm gonna Calvin Johnson. Yeah. That was it. That's right. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm I mean, trying to think. Yeah. Like, no, yeah. Great You're talking answer. about a dude that literally, like, just changes the game. Like, people oh, literally yeah. used to, like, vice this guy. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, who Fire are like, guess what? We're putting two guys yes, out. Yes, two guys. <laughs> Those are the only two picks I think I would have, like, considered, take, like, Prime, yeah. him, and oh, Randy. Gosh, Nobody else, bro. Now I got to think. Yeah. Like, they tried looking up NFL wide <laughs> It's like when we do the Thanksgiving <laughs> theme. Like, where it was, like, favorite Thanksgiving things to do, or, like, in the fall. Brock ended up drawing that turkey, but he was also Googling what's something fun to do in the fall. <laughs> he, yep. couldn't, he couldn't think of anything. Oh, I got um, I'll probably oh, – dude, there's so many old-timers, but I think I think Devontae Adams is really good. Great answer. Yeah, yeah. Good. Like him. Great answer. Yeah. Give me Jerry Rice. Yeah, I think there it is. Out of boy Tate, you bounce back. That was, that's big. I was I was put on the spot the first time. <laughs> it was a bad deal. All right, Raven County. Uh, people forget about the '90s wideouts. Like I don't remember really any '90s wideouts other than Jerry. Yeah, but Jerry was like 17 decades. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like watching Stephon Diggs. He's good, dude. Good He'd be fun to throw to. Good answer. He'd be real fun to throw to. All right. I feel like you know again. what he's doing. He runs. He's really smart. He's a beast. Give us your uh, your tight ends now. We got tight ends. Tight ends. All right. Are we going 12 or 11? We just we we're taking one? Tight just tight one. We'll, we'll go 11. Tight 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 11 personnel. He got one tight end. I know who I'm picking. I mean, I do too, but it might get taken. I don't think mine will. I don't think, think mine will. I have a feeling you're going to steal it. So oh, mine is. got mine. Let me make sure this is a guy real quick. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Let me make sure I'm in the right here. Are we still? No. I already know who I'm saying. I'm not going to take yours. Hmm. Unless he says I got a, I got a, a very strict choice here. Yeah. I like watching Tony Gonzalez. No! Damn, that was my first mom. one off the rip? <laughs> That was my first too. one. Yeah. You guys are not that rare, apparently. All four of you picked the same <laughs> no, one. I did. I did. Uh, no, yeah. That's not like that. No. I got He was a dope in this. Yeah. Unbelievable. And the Chiefs. He was a dog. Dude, there's some good tight ends in the league right now. I don't know. There's oh, some yeah. damn good tight ends in the league right now. What kind of offense you want to run, coach? Get first catch. Huh? Cody, so you can get your first catch. Yeah, there it is. Need it. <laughs> Need it. Yep. Got to have it. Give me Gronk. Yep. Mm, that's a good pick. Kelsey. Yep. Obviously. Sure. We're throwing the ball every That's what I was going to say. Dude, Quarter. you this know be, what? This better be really, really And this sneaky. isn't, this really isn't, like, I don't think there's anybody in the world like Darnell Washington, and I would take him. Oh. Ever. I really don't. Yeah. You're I think he something. is unbelievable. I love that. That's awesome. The Good things, dogs. Take yourself. Go to you you get you get Calvin Johnson. That's what I picked, right? Yeah. Calvin Johnson. Just Darnell Washington. Washington. <laughs> yeah. You've just done something here. I, yeah, I'm winning. <laughs> Darnell two Washington. Guys advice. That's four and guys out of the equation. You, you can have another either 11 or, or if you put Calvin on the point, you can go 11 and then have somebody else go for safety. And you get Barry Sanders and you run Rhino or Truck. <laughs> it's not going to Are you joking? Stop. Are you joking? Nope. Yeah, that's a good point. Darnell is a one of one. Nobody like him. And, and then, and then and he catches twenty yard touchdown passes in the SEC. Yeah, that's gonna be yeah. a fun guy to throw to. What's it like throwing to a guy like that? Six eight, two hundred ninety pounds. Honestly, it, it was tough for me for a little bit. It's <laughs> yeah. like don't miss him. 
but like he, he you just put it there and like it just slips but it's like no way that dude's that big in an fs and so it's you throw it behind him like all the time it's nuts um but that's know. a great pick mm -hmm. yeah that's a good pick i told you guys you weren't gonna um mm. somebody that like i try to emulate and like i loved watching growing up is jason witten that's a good so it's a really good pick. good pick yeah he he's probably my all-time favorite so him yours hadn't been picked yet bro no i think I, I was on the same one as you i'm, I'm drafting brock bowers yeah dog. yeah, yeah. Go both for boys it. i like it go for it big dogs i finally What's thought of the running guy? back i was gonna take yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. yeah he's slot yeah dude i love that we went with the own boy oh, own dogs yeah. Yeah, I mean, I really well, do. I think. Let's be honest. And I think, I, like, we're both being honest. Like, I absolutely. Don't, it's not because, like, he's on the team and, like, I'm trying to decide. Like, I, I think he's fucking, I think he's incredible. Shout out to the Mackey Award winner and the first time in SEC history that two tight ends have gone first team SEC and second team from the same team. <laughs> That's crazy. And let's be honest. I think, I mean, you guys are being honest because, in my opinion, if those guys stay healthy for their entire career, they're playing 15 plus years in the league. If they stay healthy. Nobody can stop. Unbelievable. And you'll draw a hand turkey line on the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Brock's hand turkey. Brock's hand turkey right there. Well, we had, so we had, like, we did this tier talk. And instead of doing, like, players, we did favorite things about fall. And, like, he was looking at players, and you were probably looking at players. He had to look up on his phone, like, his favorite things to do in fall. Like, what are some awesome things to do in fall? Draw a hand turkey. Draw a hand turkey was one of them. Yeah. <laughs> We tried to get him to sign it. He said it with his chest, too. He's, he was proud of it, so we made him draw it. He, he, like, he, like, said it to me. He was like, I was like, say, he's like, I can't. And I was like, no, you, like, need to say that. <laughs> Oh man! I was, he said, he said, he said, "Take hey, shots at hand turkey." He's like, "Do you mean the thing you like trace on your head?" He was like, "Yeah." <laughs> He's probably really excited about it too. I hope his fingers don't actually look like that. A little wonky. Yeah, that pink is going to be an NFT and worth like a billion dollars. Yeah, and pinkies are probably a little more crooked than. Yeah, that's actually probably pretty accurate. Yeah, nice yeah I guarantee you. This. That's how that's how much shit mine is. Mine's got a nice little lump. Well, boys. Appreciate you guys being oh, on. Oh, yeah, sir. Thank Thanks for having. being here. It was a good one. So we're good. Tater, you got anything? No. Uh, I wish I could change my running back answer. Who was it? Eddie George. I couldn't think of his name. Mm. That's, That's pretty stinky. So Sorry. who's everybody's whole team? Go, Gunner. The whole team. Uh, what was it? Reggie. There's my receiver, Stephon Diggs, and Tony Gonzalez. Mm. Good team. Jerry Rice, Gronk, and I'm not playing out with Gronk. You I just, I just literally, no, I've, I've yeah, no, we, I did a trade. I got Eddie George. There's six of us. <laughs> You're going 0 and 5. Eddie uh, George is such an offensive <laughs> lineman pick, though. Just run the ball. It is. It's it a was, yeah. large man. With Danny Tomlinson, Devontae Adams, Travis Kelsey. So that's an that's a dang good, yeah, that's a dang good roster. Got, We're going, throwing the ball. You're going play. past Happy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> such a, that's a quarterback answer. We got, um, we got Darnell, we got uh, Barry Sanders, and we got Calvin Johnson. That's damn good, too. That's yeah. good. I went Bow Time, Randy Moss, Jason Witten. That's great. That's, that's so good. I went uh, Julio, Brock, and AP. Yeah. Yeah. I say this side of the room probably won the, yeah. <coughs> won the battle. I yeah, absolutely. I think I'll Carson might be inching this way, too. I think Gunner's kind of close to the Tate. I think Gunner might lose. Well, Tate's going to leave his own. <laughs> it's us. Him 50 feet of shit the and then Tate. Kamara. <laughs> yeah. You guys know what movie that's from? No? Is that um, I, 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 the, the I, helmet? I, 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 no. Moneyball. Oh, yeah. Brad Pitt. Yeah. There's the other teams. There's 50 feet of shit. And then there's us. <laughs> great, great movie. Great movie. Great movie. Wait, we, I just watched a movie with him literally last night. You guys seen Bullet Train yet? Yeah, oh, dude, yeah. watched it as a we team. Watched it yeah, as a team. Yeah, Did you really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bullet Train? Yeah. Is that Brad Pitt? It was the um, Brad Pitt. Yeah, we watched it as a team. It was just one long scene. We watched it as a team, right? I remember after you yeah, guys watched it as a team. We watched it as a team. I was talking to Neil the next day. He was like, I got the motherfucker. Actually? Yes. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what are you watching? This is the Dude, he always shit. does. He always does. It's actually funny. That's awesome. He was like, I don't know. I don't know how to win. Like, I don't know how to win. We're on the field. I'm like, you can't. It was, that's gold. <laughs>
My uh, favorite thing we're on the field is like I've been like banged up on the field like four times this year. Stetson always looks me. So he's not you good? And in my head, I'm like, uh, no. But I look at him like, uh huh. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> like the Mississippi State game, he looks me. Like, you good? I'm like, my dude. I saw it the first play. I was like, oh no, dude. There's a lot of this game left. You good? Sixty nine. <laughs> my shoulders like border- stay with us here, bro. My shoulders like borderline out of place. I'm like, I'm great. I can't move my arm, but I'm you got great. This. You got this. Then we went past by like three plays. In a row. It's actually probably good for you. Probably forgot a little bit about. Yeah. It. No, the one I didn't forget about was Clemson when I did whatever I did to my foot. Oh, yeah, I remember and then that one too. I didn't. I like wasn't processing what happened. Oh. And like next thing, I'm like looking at Warren McClendon, like my foot's in half. And he's like, "Oh, okay." He's like, "Huh?" Next thing I know, they're calling a play. So then we go just, fastball, and I'm like, well, "I can't come off the field." We're going fastball, so I'm like, hop into the line. And then Schaefer jumps off sides. <laughs> I got out. Somebody just went down the NFL with Liz Frank, too. I don't remember who it was. They thought it was Liz Frank, but it ended up not being. I've uh, never heard of a Liz Frank it? for the COVID vaccine. No. Oh, oh. Anne Frank, who are you? <laughs> yeah, Anne Frank. How does it Who was was it? Now? I don't remember. That team was, was they killed it. <laughs> I remember seeing that, though. I was like, oh, no, wait, say that. Oh, yeah, they said this would bother me as long as I played football. Was it Debo? No. It was someone where they thought like they completely just like snapped his ankle or whatever ended up being – Oh, it's Liz Frank, and then they're like, oh, it's not Liz Frank, but it's foot broken or something like that. Like my foot. That's probably one of the It was somebody big. Yeah. Oh, they told me. They were like, I went, when I went and got my MRI, I said, what'd you do? I was like, they said I tore my Liz Frank. He said, yep, that's the one you don't want to do. Oh. I'm like, like it was in the, like it was in the discussion, like me not playing football again. That's what Lanith did at Athens Academy against us. He, he broke his, or tore his Liz Frank or whatever. They're like, dude, we don't know if you'll play football again. Yeah, they told me. That's insane. They're like. With your position, like what the surgery did was like it put the two bones back together. When they took the screw out, they were planning on just leaving it out and nothing else having to be put in. But my bone, like the bone started separating again. So they were there like, this isn't good. And then they're like, okay, well, we got to figure out a solution to this. And they're like, well, we're going to try this. I was like, try. Like, what do you mean try? They're like, well, we're going to try this and hope it works. I was like, whoa, like I needed yeah. like, to be told this is going to work, which it ended up working. So. But yeah, that was not a fun, fun time. Hmm. I remember you talking about that. I miss my knee scooter sometimes. <laughs> it's like Dom. Dom's like Ben. Like, Carson's, <laughs> Carson's got videos of me on campus. Of uh, after our English class, there's like a little hill, and I'd always sit down on my scooter and ride all the way down it. I got hit a couple of times, but. <laughs> it's a big boy riding on a knee scooter. Yeah, it's that. I busted oh. my ass so many times. Oh. All right, let's after, roll on eighteen wheeler. After the first surgery, going, boys. That's, uh, after the first surgery, I was laying in bed like three nights after.